Facebook. I mean, on YouTube. I'm live. Okay. This is my very first time ever going live on YouTube. I'm super excited. But since I have not been posting a ton with my hair as of late, I decided this is a great opportunity to get a live using this hair tool. So over on Instagram and Facebook, a lot of people were like, how'd you do your hair? How'd you do your hair? And so I'm going to come here and do it. And while I'm doing that, we're streaming over on Instagram as well. Hi, Instagram. We're streaming on Instagram so that they can see how to do it too, to kill two birds with one stone. So you always have it here and you have it there. So first things first, this is the tool that we're using. This is the La, Tr La Tridente, the La Tridente um, from Lange. Um, you can get the Lange links for me. I'll make sure I'll try to edit and, and post those links all in here. But I, you can also get more links from me if you go to fitmissionmakeup.com slash blog. Look up the blog that says current hair. We always try and keep it extremely current. And you can get my Lange link for those as well. Um, but I am an affiliate for Lange. I use all different products and everything. And what I use is only what I love without a doubt. I don't promote all these things. Okay, so let's work this out. My hair has been blow dried. I put stuff in my hair before I blow dried. I have fine hair. What settings do you use? So um, fine hair and settings, that the important thing for you with fine hair and settings is that you do need to um, go. We have 25 people on here from the YouTube. <laughs> okay, I'm freaking out. Okay, let me compose myself. Let's go back to the question though. She said, I have fine hair. What settings do you use? You always want to start out on a lower setting. So I do mine at 350, but I've gotten to you to know my hair. So I say that you start out at like 320 and go from there. So you'll know, oh, here's another tip that you can do though too. So with your hair tools, anytime you on purposely want to have a looser curl or anything like that, turn it down, like even lower than your norm, just turn it down so that when you turn it down, it's going to make a softer wave without you having to work it so much. So today what we're using, this is not my favorite, um, flat iron, but it's, it's just flat iron. So I'm just using a flat iron and this hair tool, it's a big birther right here. Like this is a, a big baby. So, um, but we're using them both. And I've actually taught past ones where I, um, flat iron my hair first but there's a reason that I'm going to flat iron last. The last time I did this, I discovered that I like it last because what it does is with every layer that we bring it in, it kind of shifts the length of your hair down here. And so I just want it to, to sit smoothly for what we have going on in that department. So um, I, I don't think, oh, I think I can chat with people Oh, I see. Okay. We get comments on YouTube too. Great to see you on here. Very clear and very um, great sound. Oh, good to know. Excited you're on YouTube. Hi, Christine. Hi, Lorraine. I love this. Oh my gosh. You guys are making my day. Thank you so much. All right. So I have my hair parted off with the underside of things. This is where the flat iron is going to come in because on the back of my hair, see how it kind of dips out. And so I do want to flat iron my hair. I don't use this flat iron very much. My normal flat iron. Oh, if you go to my blog, there's a link on my blog for the flat iron that I recommend. But this one, I just grabbed it out of past past stuff that I have. And so this one is, is a dial that you just turn it to. So I'm going to turn it to 350. And then all I'm going to do is flat iron the underneath for us to start. And then I'll go from there because this... I'm not going to try and get down by my ear because let's be honest, would you be scared to place this by your ear? Cause this is so big. <laughs> I would without a doubt, without a doubt. What's up Michigan. Okay. So I'm just going to come in through here. I'm going to take out these earrings. They're kind of for show at this point, just so I feel like a human being with my big old earrings in. And I'm just going to flat iron this underneath part. Let me turn this around. And I'll just make sure I'm not burning things. And so I just easily come into here and, and roll it under. And it's okay that I'm doing the whole strand because down in here, I'm not really focusing on getting a curl. I'm just focusing on, on like leveling that out, that playing field. I missed the name of your blog. Yes, it is fitmissionmakeup.com slash blog you right to it because fitmissionmakeup.com you can go and get a custom color match with 
um, you just scroll to that, that home page and you can get a custom color match for your makeup, but the blog, um, can just take you right to it. And it's going to be one of the very first blogs that you see. It will always be, cause what we're doing is we're keeping it. Hi, Patty. We're keeping it. Um, so that's always, always, always updated. So it has my newest haircut and my newest hair color and any products that I'm using currently using right now, or that I feel like, okay, this product is awesome. This one deserves a shout out. Okay, so we went through and just worked that. And then what I'm gonna do is always, um, I love to take the Stardust um, powder. So it's a powder. And the thing that I like about this is sometimes it, it shoots out a good amount of powder, but sometimes it doesn't. Just give it a shake because it's pretty dense and heavy. But the ingredients list for this is very small. And I just, since I have fine, finer hair, I like to use it as a texture, not to mention it's helping level out those oils as well. So I spray it at that root because we get, I get oily pretty quickly. Okay. And then like so. And then I can still take this section and we're going to start working it and rolling it out. So what you want to do with this kind of a tool also, FYI, if you do not have this kind of hair tool, you can do this kind of thing. And I do, I have a YouTube video on this. I have a past YouTube video. I have past Facebook videos, but you can also do this with a flat iron. You're going to come up in here. Let me do an underneath one. So you would come, you do this first one, a roll, and then I grab hold of the top and you're gonna come up and around like so. So you're just doing this throughout. And the one thing, so I actually taught this on Instagram. I have a video of me doing this one. The one thing I like about doing it with a flat iron is I can grab smaller sections. I can make it kind of a little crazier um, than I can, but this is how you would do it with a flat iron. So you can do it either way. But what we're gonna do, where did that hair piece go? And I changed, so I changed the amount of um, what I use. Where can you watch all your information from your visit with Raquel? So I have it saved in a highlight bubble called Moxie. And then I have a live Q&A highlight bubble that is called um, Q&A with, with R, with Raquel. And I will still be posting more from that. So this is the wave that it gives you. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? This is the wave that it gives you. And right now, if you're on Instagram, we are filming this for a, this is actually, I'm live on YouTube with my very first YouTube live ever. And so if you're not following me over on YouTube, give it a go, because we're going to be going live on YouTube more often. Plus, not to mention last night, I just posted a YouTube video on hair and the importance of what products, what specific products should you, would you, why do you want to put specific products in your hair before you um, blow dry? Because that's going to be a game changer for your hair. So that's what I posted. It went live last night. And then also I have a newsletter and that newsletter is dang good. And it comes out weekly and we're always changing it up. Some of the newsletters, we make it be very, very short and sweet and to the point. And then some of them are way more intense. Um, and this one has three awesome tips on different um, topics. It's actually already should be live right now, but it comes out every Tuesday. So make sure you subscribe. You can subscribe by going to my Instagram page, the link in my bio. Um, it says subscribe to newsletter right there. And a lot of times I have it in my post that you can subscribe to. This one I don't currently have because it's a live. Um, is that a small or large size barrel? So it's the biggest size. So this size, right? This is the La Tr Tridente. It's the biggest size you get that wave. So the sizes that you have to do too kind of go off of um, what I also, in order to know if I got it all, I kind of just hold up a hair and guess, but let me show you in the back. And if ever I miss this point, a piece, it's just cause, well, we can't see <laughs> what's going on in the back. I just get, I just guess. Okay, so I come around and when I do this next piece, you'll see me put more of that, um, that product back in it, but I'm gonna wait until I have it uh, curled before I do this next one. Okay, hold tight while we correct that. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, I didn't grab me a normal hairbrush. 
ignore the surround brush because you don't need one. And then we're gonna come in here and take a whole other section. So this is actually a pretty dang quick way. So I'll leave that end out, but as you go, as we get up higher, you would want to um, adjust. We're gonna be adjusting a little bit. Thanks for the love. Okay. Fix that. And go on through. What do we think? We like this? You love that product. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay. Yeah, this one is, seriously, it's called the Stardust Dry Shampoo Powder. And I love it. So a little bit about me too, if this is the first time you're finding me, is I don't like to use products I have not tested out for a very long time in different locations, humidities, dryness. Um, of course, I can't test it on all of the hair types and stuff like that. But with having fine, um, I have fine hair, medium fine, finer. I have a mix. Like I could go like this and be like, you're fine. You're a little thicker. You're a little thicker. You're fine. Um, but I, okay, now we're going to take this while I talk and just shoot it on through those to those roots. And then you'll see what I do for the next thing too. Yeah, I love this powder. <laughs> I love how you're, yeah, I don't do the nonsense. I am not okay with the nonsense. Okay, then I take um, what I want to use. So I'm not actually going to use a texture spray or anything like that yet because truthfully with having finer hair, texture sprays, again, they can have these oils in them. So I always have to be really careful with those. But I am going to take the Moroccan oil medium finish hairspray and I'm going to put this and just kind of use it to those roots more so because as somebody who has oily hair, um, the roots get like, the more I can get product at my roots, the better off I am. We don't want to go too heavy though. So like I said, with this stuff, I, I could spray this can and it's not going to go too heavy on my hair. If I did that with the Kenra one though, that's going to be a mess. That's going to be a mess. Okay. Um, you'd rock an undercut. So I always had an undercut. I quit having an undercut. I had one for like seven years and I just, I didn't feel that it was necessary needed anymore. So I don't have a longer uh, young, uh, undercut right currently, but undercuts are awesome. If you have um, full thick head of hair and you just can't get what you want because it's just so heavy, you might really like an undercut, but yeah, undercuts just don't suit me at the moment, but who's to not say they won't in the, um, again, in the long run. You never know. You never know. Okay. All right. So you notice too, I haven't flat ironed yet. Okay. So when I, as I'm getting up here more, this is going to get longer and longer that pokes out at the bottom. So I have to decide if I feel that that is important. And so if so, I have to just go like that, but you can tell if it got in there and it looks like it got in there. So, and then I just let it sit. So what, as you're getting closer to the top, you'll notice that because you're, you're building that volume. So I want you to notice something too. So this is a thick piece. And I'm actually going to split that in half. I don't want to do really long pieces, even though I could. And then my hair would be done quicker. Um, I don't want to. So, okay. I want you to pay attention to the angle of my hair right now. Okay. Now the angle of my hair, I could e easily have it down here, but then we're going to come in here. I want to get that lift at the root. So this is going to be lifted all the way up. And then I'm going to come in and set and place this here. Okay, and this is popping out, so we'll address that in a second. What about someone who is older and is losing hair up front near the bank area? That one, I think that it, that one needs to come to play with, like, um, is there something lacking from your diet? Is there something lacking from your vitamins? Is there, like, what is the reason for the hair um, falling out? And that would be something that I can't help with, um, but... That's where I would, that would be my first thing to come into play is liver, gut, hormones, if your hair is falling out in those areas. But that, that one is out of my, my, um, yeah, <laughs> my expertise. Okay, so this one, I just have that little area. Do you want me to turn so you can see the back or do you think you're good there? Just let me know. Do Did you put your index finger on the curling iron? No. Is that a band-aid? No, it's a ring on my finger. 
It's actually called the Jocelyn ring. And yes, it was named after me. So I have that. It's a ring. Okay. I should put, but I should put um, rings on all my fingers when I do this so that I, so that I don't, okay, you want me to turn? Okay, I will turn. Okay, so on this one, we come. So again, the angle, right? Come on through. And then you can see that backside of how it looks as it goes through there. And then that top, um, I will be addressing and fixing. And so how do you know how far to come down? You just envision like how round that is and then it has to have room for that bubble. And then um, that's how you kind of, so you wanna keep that volume up in there. You want that bubble to be up or high, uh, up higher because then when your hair falls and the weight of the hair, especially the weight of the hair when you have finer hair, it um, we wanna do everything we can to keep that bubble. <laughs> That's what we want. I want the ring named after your daughter. Oh, the Kaylin or the Emmy? There was both there. Probably the Emmy. The Emmy was like a, like a peachish color. Yeah, hello, Amanda. Hello, Alicia. Okay, and then this front, I'm gonna come right through here. And then again, you just always want to test your, your heat out um, for your hair before you like let it sit there really well. Okay, here's the back. Hopefully I didn't miss a spot. Now we're gonna go back around. And it sounds like I'm spraying a lot, but sometimes it like that one didn't spray out good. And sometimes it comes out more, but that's what I like about this product too, is have you, you know, those powders that they kind of like disperse like, um, baby powder and you put it in your hair and it like, and it just like, and then all of a sudden it's like you slept on your hair for 10 days. You did not wash it. It's Jack now. Yeah. I did the heritage brand one. She's got one and I've done two other companies that I'm brain farting at the moment. I ruined my hair. It was like first hair wash day. I ruined it. So that's what I like about this too, is that I can't, I could keep spraying. I could keep going like this and I wouldn't be doing what I did with one little poof of the other one. Okay. So then we're going to come around. Now notice though, I have not gone in and touched what's going on. We're waiting until the hair completely, the heat is taken out of it before we do that. So I'm spraying to kind of set it but I'm not separating, I'm not style, I'm not pulling out anything yet, okay? So that's important for me to say too. Hello, hello, Ireland. Um, I tried Big Sexy Hair Party, yes! Yes, the Big Sexy Hair is one that I did try. Yes, 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 yes. It is like a poof ball and you have a finer hair as well and so that would be horrible for you. I'm gonna try a different hair. To a little hair clip right now. Okay. Also, the other reason why I like this hair tool so much is because when you curl, you kind of need to know your part because it's going to change your hair, how it goes. But with this, if however your part is, you can still kind of mess with it. So that's another, another thing I like about it too, but, but still try and figure out where you're going to part your hair before you roll it out. Um, so that you can kind of go with it. So I'm going to do it down the center because that's how I had it yesterday to show you guys too. So, okay, here we are on this front one, try and get that lift. And then on the top, we need to make sure I don't get that seam. So I'm gonna turn my iron so that that seam will not dent my hair because we're now getting closer to the top um, and then we have this hanging out. So now I'm gonna put that. And I like to keep giving it that so that as it's, the heat is cooling, I'm still giving it that little poof, yes. Um, where did you get your top? I got this top from, mm, I didn't know it's good right there. I didn't do a good job. It'll be okay. Um, from, it's a boutique called Richie Hippie. And she just has fun, fun things. Richie Hippie. So this one, I did a really weird job with parting my hair. So I'm actually going to turn this, take way smaller sections on this one. 
actually, I'm gonna go like this. That one actually I kind of did do, but I don't like it. So the thing though that you have to remember with this is you you don't there there's not a ton of room for error, even with especially with a flat iron. There's not a ton of room for error, so you need to get that puppy and get it set with what you're doing. Okay, so that's better. All right, so moving on to this next one. So as you go through here, you're just doing it. This can truly be a really fast hairstyle. So I'm gonna give you a couple examples of how this hairstyle could take a little bit longer. One, you take smaller pieces. So you're really trying to define the hairstyle, make it um, each piece look more individualized. So this can create a different look depending on how you put it in. Um, two, if you're trying to make them look like individual, more individualized pieces, that is going to take more time. But, but because you're able to hold it, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. So somewhere in there, you'll figure it out for your hair about how long it needs to sit. I'm going to redo this one and hopefully I'm not playing with fire and see if we can get that to go just a little bit more. Okay. Um, can you hold up the product you're using to for poof? Yes. I tried the powder and it gives grit, but too much is yikes. So this one doesn't give a ton of this one right here. Sorry, Instagram. Sorry, or this is Instagram I'm showing. So this is a dry shampoo powder. It doesn't go too crazy when you get too much um, on that one, but a but an actual poof product um, that is for texturizing, that one without a doubt would give you too much poof. Um, in a, but that one is a dry shampoo powder. Okay, so this one is just one skinny piece because I parted it really weird. Hi, Joanna, how are you? And it goes, and then we'll take another section. So like I said, you can control the speed of this by um, how big of sections you take, okay? You caught me on YouTube. Did it alert your phone? I'm hoping it did. I'm hoping that all the all of the subscribers it alerted. Will you link the iron somewhere? So if you want a specific link to it, reach out. There's a couple different things that you can do. If you want a specific link for it, reach out to me and I'll give you a link. Or if you're on watching me on Instagram, you can go to my highlight bubble called Hair Faves. And you can, um, under that, if there's a link, one of my links for Lange, and that will take you to Lange's site. And then you're going to look up the La Tridente, or you can go to my blog. And on my blog, it will give you a link for all things Lange. And it will tell you my very favorite hair products that I currently use in my hair um, from Lange and any other products that I see as well. Okay. And these pieces that I'm doing are pretty small. Like I said, you don't have to go that small, but I'm getting closer to the top. So usually I'll do bigger pieces underneath, smaller pieces on top to save time because underneath nobody can see that. So I'll take big, big chunks. And then on the top, I'll start putting them into smaller ones. So it just looks more individualized. And then the top, so that piece is done. This piece. Again, trying to get that high volume. See that high volume there? there, And then making sure I don't get a crease. So I have to kind of turn it at this top so I don't get any of that. Hello, UK. You were alerted on your phone. Yay. I'm so glad. Okay, keeping that volume, that little bubble there. And then of course we want them to just sit. And then I need to, let's check this part out, shall we? Before we move on anymore, make sure we're in line with it. 
Okay, and we are almost rocking this, almost done. Now on this back part, I'm gonna kind of do this one back a little bit to give that that volume. And then again, this is called the La Tridente. I probably am butchering that because everything from Lange, they're like speaking French. So if I am, I'm so sorry. Like I found out that they're my favorite product, their glaze is like Laze or something like that. <laughs> I can't. I can't say it right. It's G-L-A-Z-E, but it has a little, so I say it wrong. I, I promise I try. When you're a hick from the sticks that has no idea, I tried to see if I could learn French because we love, we went to St. Bart's one time um, and we loved it. And so I told the people at St. Bart's, I'm trying to learn French. And then I started and I had heard with French if, that if you don't learn it, like when you're young, that is really, really hard to learn. And yeah, let's see. I was alerted on my phone too, but ended up watching on IG and said, well, there you go. Thank you so much. Hi, Shark Republic. What's up? I love the way you're curling your hair today. Thank you. Uh, it just makes it fun. And the thing I like with, I will say this, with having where I get greasy hair pretty easily, this way, even on the third day, because um, I can go like a good two days, um, but on that third day, it still looks good. I just might not like how greasy my hair is, but it still looks good. So I like that I can get away with things more, if that makes sense, with this hairstyle using this tool and this method. Okay, okay, so on the back, I'm gonna take the sections that I wanna do. And on the back, we're gonna give this that lift, because so I'm trying to get as high as I can. And then I'm going to place this Down. And you'll know if you're getting too close to your head, like you'll know, trust me, you'll know. And then we'll get that. And again, keep that loose so that you're not pulling it down. Like you don't want to do it down there. You want it to keep that volume as much as possible. And then again, there, so you have that volume like so. Okay, and then we just have this. Just this little section right here. And I am, I'm gonna take this whole section for you. No, I'm not gonna take this front because I don't wanna jack up the front. But I'm gonna take this whole section for you to kind of show you too because this side I did everything individualized and this side we're gonna do this one whole chunk. So again, watch your volume. Watch your top so you don't get the crease because it's easy to get that crease if you're keeping your angle too over the top. So watch that crease and then kind of come into play. And that one wasn't my favorite. It has a wave, but it turned. So we'll see if I need to adjust it. Sometimes it's not worth adjusting because you might jack it up more. Of course, I had to do it on the top, but this is real life, right? And sometimes we get those boo-boos. <laughs> okay, it's starting to get real. I'm sweating. From one, being scared that I'm on YouTube doing this, and two, I'm messing up, and so it's making me like, brr. Okay, I'm gonna fix this one with the This one is trying to fall out there Ta -da! okay so this one let's talk about this so what i'll do is i'll style see how it's turning just like more of an s so you have to decide if it's worth messing with it or if you really want to try so i'm gonna take and it could have been because i took too big of a section um so you really got to think about if it's worth it because the more you mess with your hair the worse it can be. So I'm gonna place that and hold it there. How do you put it up at night? How do you keep it nice all days? I don't really, 
um, put it up at night. But if you kind of just lay it over your pillow, that can be, if you notice that your hair doesn't hold a curl, um, then that's what you can do. Okay. So we, so it turned out, okay. I don't like the bottom. So I'll do the bottom. Like I did with the other one. Because my Um, oh, Colleen, I didn't take your comment because you're older. I took your comment. So truthfully, so she commented about losing, like losing hair or you're losing hair in a spot or anything like that. So I'm actually seeing a ton of people, com um, their complaint is their hair is falling out. And so the reason I brought up what I brought up was because, um, that is something that a lot of people are dealing with right now. And so the reason I have to be really careful with what I talk about hair falling out is because there's an underlying issue. One of the questions I get asked a lot is what, what my hair's falling out, what products should I use? And anytime your hair is falling out, I don't like to recommend a product because I, I'm a root, we got to get to the root cause of an issue. And so I have to be really careful with what I recommend. So that was all. Um, if, if you have, so one of the reasons why I don't like to put the product in my hair before I do it. So of course I put the products in my hair before I blow dry, but some people, you know how growing up we would take a hairspray and we would hairspray the heck out of it. And then you would wrap it with the hairspray on it and sizzle the heck out of your hair. So I want to make sure that we're not doing that um, because that can damage the hair. Every so often I've done that if my kids have a dance or something like that, but on the daily, we don't want to do that. So if your hair is, you have breakage or something, you do want to be really, really careful with what products you're putting on before you start. Okay. So this also, this product says that this is mineral oil free, but I kind of feel like I still they, it says it's shine and texture. So anytime something says it adds shine, is that going to make your hair oily? So this is at the part now where I feel if everything's dry and then this is where I take my flat iron. And like I said, I know that this seems like this is a longer tutorial. Like, oh my gosh, is this going to take 30 minutes for me to do my hair? It's not. Um, as I'm teaching it, I'm, you know, showing you a couple different things, talk, talking in between, but it's not. So all I do on my ends is make sure that my ends are not poof balls and they're where I want them to be. If they are not bad, then I leave my ends alone. If my ends are too uneven or anything like that, that I feel like I need to control them, then I'll take the flat iron. But this is all this method. This part right here is quick. And so I'll just flatten those out. Okay. And then I go to my product and this is where I will add in any paste or anything like that. So now we're going to come through here and kind of mess things up, or you can skip that part. And as you're coming through here, you're actually putting in a hair product. So this is the pay, the pomade from launch. This is their, um, uh, their salt and sea pomade. So I mix it through my fingers. So it doesn't, it doesn't stay like the white gobs. And then I, um, come through here or I start out on the top. So depending on how much I have in my hands, like right now I have probably more than I want, but I will, the thing I like about this one is I can um, take tame flyaways with it. So I tame my flyaways and then I come through here and I feel like I can also go up higher and have it like get my hair oily or anything like that. So I have it be PC. And I use my fingers to break it apart with that pomade on my hair. Then if you choose, you, you have a, like somebody said, they did a Mr. Smith pomade that they love. If you want a pomade or not a pomade, I'm so sorry, a texture spray, then you can take that texture spray and guide it through. But the more I don't have to use, especially with having finer hair, the more you don't use a product, the better, because you're just weighing your hair down more. So then there's that. And I just make sure that I'm nice and like slimmed out on these ends. So I don't feel like I look like a poof ball. And then that's all she wrote. So this hairstyle, when I am taking bigger sections, this can truly take me five minutes when I'm taking my time. Cause I'm really trying to make a, like almost more of a permed look. Um, then I can, 
go in and take my time and like, cause see that you can take, you can tell that I pulled more individual pieces with it. And that's the difference that it's going to give is it's going to kind of break it to where it will look more individualized and not one piece. You want to make sure that with this style, if you're especially doing somebody with long hair and you keep taking big sections, always break it apart. Never keep it the tight sections that are the seams. The only way you wouldn't is if you're truly going for a very specific hairstyle that a stylist is like trying to come up with something. But normally that's not the case um, all in all the day. Is it heavy? It is not. Oh, this, this tool, it definitely has um, some weight to it for sure. Yes, it does. It's it's large and in charge. Let me show you the back. Again, if I miss a piece or if it looks a little skate wampus, sorry, but it um, it's just so fun. And then I do a hairspray again. I try not to hairspray a ton, but when I do hairspray, so I grab it, hold it up so that it's keeping that volume there instead of just spraying. This is at a, at a salon. They grab your hair at the top and then they put it, um, and then they put it how like they grab it, spray, and then mess so that you're able to keep that volume. So this side, I'm right-handed. So I either move it into my left hand or I can kind of like hold it up, spray, hold it up, spray. Kind of like that. Um, that side of my hair is always more difficult. I know, it's always a pain. No, Colleen, you're great. <laughs> you are great. Okay. And that's all she wrote. So this is that it's the La Trident, a um, <laughs> hair duel. Um, this is their biggest size of what they have with this. They have smaller sizes too, but this is my favorite. The, the other sizes, I kind of felt a little more crimped where this one, I just feel like they're big waves and they're all kinds of fun. Um, but I really love this tool. Like I said, I showed in the beginning of this, you can do this style with a flat iron. Instead, you're just going to take it and weave. If you want to see, I do have past YouTube videos of me doing that. I also have um, Facebook ones too, but you'd have to dig. It's easier to find the ones that are on YouTube. I just watched one of your older videos and you use posh for each strand of hair. Why don't you use that anymore? Was it too heavy? Um, posh. I, I, I think that we just all shift as we kind of go through things, not to mention I work so hard to really stack, like try, what do I need? What do I don't need? In fact, I don't even use the glaze, the glaze product as much for the fact of, I have figured out how to really decide what shape my hair's in. Like, okay, are we super hydrated right now? Good. Okay. So I won't use this product today. And so I've just figured that out along the way. And Posh isn't one that I felt like was necessary for me to keep it in. But here's the thing with Posh. Posh is a product from Launch. It's a very um, smooth, smoothing type one. If I have, if I had longer hair, I'd probably use Posh more often. And if I'm trying to keep a solid curl, like I want that curl to be so defined, I would probably use it more often. But for me on the daily, I just don't feel that it's something that on the daily I would use uh, with Posh. And I, I just kind of changed um the years that's all all right so i am going to um end this i just did my very first youtube live i hope you guys have a great day don't forget on youtube i posted um a new tutorial yesterday so you can go check that out there too i have um a, there's a different page that i post to uh, the shorts, but it's what you see on YouTube too, or sorry, on Facebook and Instagram as well. So kind of hitting all the places, but definitely going to be diving in more to YouTube. All right, you guys, we'll see you later. I'm going to end, I'm going to end you first. I'm going to stream this baby to an end. We'll see you later. Bye. Okay. End stream. Yes.